Hi, it's Todd once again with Sideshow FX. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to install our Premier Pro MIDI controller for Stream Deck devices pack. And this is the installation for the Macintosh system. If you are looking for the Windows installation, there'll be a link in the description below. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here. And in particular, we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins, and in the search box over the top right here, we're going to enter MIDI. And it filters the results for us. And you see it here, this is the one we want here, MIDI, and we're just going to click install. Say so, okay. And it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Audio MIDI Studio, which uh, automatically is loaded on your Macintosh, and you can locate that on your Macintosh hard drive applications utilities folder. And here it is under utilities, Audio MIDI setup. So we'll open that up. Just move that out of the way. And so it's the MIDI Studio as part of this. We're going to click on the properties here. And uh, at this time, it shows that there's no available ports. You may have ports here, but we're going to add a few. First thing is leave this device name blank. Very important. So we'll go down to the port section here. We're going to click the plus sign. We'll double click this to rename it. And the first name we're going to give is Mackie to DAW. So it'll be capital M to capital D DAW. Mackie to DAW. Click the plus sign again. Double click this to rename, and this will be DAW to Mackie, capital D to capital M. DAW to Mackie, just like that. And click apply. Now we've created these two ports, so we can close this down. And then we're gonna go over to Premiere Pro, Preferences, and Control Surface. And in the control surface dialog, there's a device class we're going to add. And we'll pull down to Mackie. Now we're going to click on the settings. Double click the Mackie control. And the device type is Mackie control. For our MIDI input device, we're going to select Mackie to DAW and the output device, DAW to Mackie. Say OK. Say OK again. And we'll click through with OK. Now back to our desktop. We're going to open up our download that you would have downloaded from Sideshow FX, our premier MIDI controller for Stream Deck devices. Inside of the package is a MIDI graphics folder. Inside of this, there's a Mac and Windows. Go to the Mac. And you'll see this Treveliga Spell folder. What this holds is all of the graphics for the MIDI controls in the Stream Deck profile. So we need to put this in a very specific place. It's going to go into your Documents folder. So pull open my Documents folder here. And the Documents folder is, of course, Macintosh Hard Drive, Users, Your Username, Documents. So you'll just click and drag this into your Documents folder. I've already got it there, so I don't need to do it. Now the next thing we're going to do is import the Stream Deck profile itself. In Stream Deck software, click on the gear icon. At the bottom, flyout menu, import. Navigate to your Premiere MIDI controller folder that you downloaded from Sideshow FX. In the Stream Deck profiles folder in Mac, and you'll see two profiles here. One is for the regular 15 key device and one is for the XL device. Since I'm currently working with the XL device, this is the one I would double click. And once we're loaded up, this is the main page. And your profile is ready to go. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, you may have noticed in the Stream Deck Profiles folder, there's a to copy folder. Now what's in here is two more profiles, one for the 15 key and one for the XL device. But what these do is it takes your entire profile 
and packs it into one folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. And here it is here. And we have just one folder here. Double clicking this opens up the exact same profile as you just installed. However, the difference is it's packed into one folder for the reason of I can click on this, right click, press copy, and now I can paste this into any other profile in my system. So for example, if you have Sideshow FX's Premiere Pro Profiles pack, you can paste this into that pack and therefore have the MIDI controller right inside of that pack. So I'll go over to our Premiere Pro Profiles pack, and here we are here, and you just locate any empty key that you want to paste this into. Let's just, for sake of argument, just I want to put it here. I'll right click and say paste. And now I've got our MIDI controller inside of our Premiere Pro pack. It just makes it easier rather than working in one profile and having to jump over to the other one. It puts it right inside here for you. So that's optional. You don't need to do it, but it's there for you should you want to use it. And that's it. You're all good to go. As always, you can check out our support page should you have any concerns or any difficulties. You should be able to find some answers there. And once again, thanks very much for downloading the pack. We really appreciate uh, the support from the, the creative community. You guys have been wonderful to us, and we really appreciate you joining us on this journey. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.